Well, in the world's fastest growing economy, investors are not used to seeing a market fall. But even China is not immune from the shock waves of the bad debt crisis, which began in America and spread around the world. Shanghai's stock exchange lost 7% yesterday, and the authorities are worried it could all affect a social stability which depends on future prosperity and growth. Our Beijing correspondent, Lindsay Hilson, investigates how far China's feeling the pinch of the global credit squeeze. Chinese investors relieved that the losses of the last two days have been reversed. They're vaguely aware that it may have something to do with America, but their eyes are on Chinese companies. The market here has gone up five-fold in the last two years. Stock prices here are too high, so we expect them to fall. It's not a surprising trend. I don't know much about the American economy. It's a bit of a gamble then but with potential worldwide consequences. Many in America are looking here to China with its rapid growth to balance out the problems of the global economy. But even though the market is back up again today, it looks like a bumpy ride, and it's not clear that China really holds the key. Shanghai, one of the busiest ports in the world. China's economy is still export-based. So if demand from the U.S. shrinks, there'll be fewer of these containers shipping out manufacturers. Economists expect China's growth to slow now, and there's not enough domestic demand to compensate. And you certainly are seeing more consumption in China. You're just not seeing consumption at the level that you've seen in the West, and it's going to take a while to get here. Um, there are still structural issues why that is the case, um, and there's still really real issues of, you know, the fact is they are not as wealthy as um, you know, uh, economies and consumers in the West. Chinese households and companies are great savers. They save upwards of 50% of GDP, compared to 2% in the UK, and minus 0.5% in America, where people spend more than they earn. Many middle-class families here would love to buy a car, but there's no social safety net, no national health service, so they save instead for a rainy day and window shop. The Chinese government may now try to boost domestic spending, but that will take time to have an impact. I would say a couple of decades, yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, for a forward-looking investors, you have to understand this process. I think the Chinese government is, I mean, is ready to move that, uh, towards that direction. The problem is how fast. China is still the workshop of the world. Even if growth slows to 9%, it will still boost the global economy. But it can't yet be a major market and save America or Europe from the credit crunch. Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4 News, Beijing.